Hi guys, I'm Tasha from Travel and Tash and I'm now coming to you from Porto in Portugal. I have so many things to update you on. I'm currently on a bus. I am using a card called an Andante, which is essentially something you can top up and use on the buses here. But if you're staying for a long time, you should be getting, it's like an oyster equivalent and it has a little photo of you and you pay about 40 euros a month to, to basically travel around using buses and trains and trams. What we're doing is we're headed downtown. We're headed from my local neighborhood in a place called Ariosa in Maya, Porto. And we're going to we're going to go and do a little bit of shopping and in the meantime I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what's changed in my life. I'm sure you can imagine that a lot has changed. I just got off the bus and I'm essentially looking for footwear, sandals and I just want to show you what I just randomly stumbled into. It's a market down there. I always love markets so go head down and see what's down there. So this market is primarily for food and I just ate. <laughs> I think question number one really is um, so why are you here Natasha why have you moved from England to Porto in Portugal and, um, and the answer is this I, I met somebody special and uh, we decided that we wanted to make Portugal our new home we decided that Porto would be a great place it was hugely on our radar and um, in the meantime I was applying for jobs teaching English and I got a job here in Porto which was one of the primary places that we were considering moving to and meanwhile I'm also I've also started my own business and so I currently uh, teach teach English uh, privately tutoring students too I'm doing a couple of jobs right now and um, so in the meantime, I'm getting used to my brand city here. So I'm in a pull and bear shop and it's my very first time actually coming into one of these stores. try this t-shirt. Here's a mirror behind. I'm actually not I'm actually not sure if I like it. I got the t-shirt, I'm going to look at some shoes now. I picked up some sandals and now I'm ready to move on. There's actually like a traditional Portuguese performance going on. It's with some students and it looks really cute actually. tell a little bit about why I haven't recorded anything in such a while. I do actually publish quite a bit to Instagram so if you don't already follow me on Instagram um, bear in mind that I produce a lot more on there just because it's much quicker and easier to upload. I've been 
everyone's so busy trying to get used to living in a country where once again I don't speak the language. Um, however, I do understand possibly about 50% of Portuguese. So um, just because I have my Spanish background, so the language is not too dissimilar. And also just getting used to everything, getting used to you know where to go for my new job, finding an apartment. We've got a lovely two bedroom apartment now. And um, we're, we're within easy access of everything. And it, it's just such a lovely city. I was joking with my partner, his name's Jesus. You guys are gonna meet him soon. And I was saying, you know, all right, so we're probably not gonna go away on holiday this August, but our home is pretty much, <laughs> our home city is like a major tourist destination. And it's so gorgeous here that I'm quite happy to just stay here and absorb the beauty of Porto and really explore here. There's a tour group right behind me. So as you can see, this is a super, super, super um, popular destination. I just um, walked by Sao Bento station and there's just so much going on here that to be honest, I need to make multiple videos. I'm gonna change that. I need to make hundreds of videos to actually really show, show off what Porto is really like. And the nice thing is, is because I live here, I get the inside scoop. I know that tourists get charged way more. Um, and that all, all, of the, all of the prices go up in summer, all downtown and whatnot. And that you really need to um, venture to the restaurants and coffee shops that are a little bit more on the periphery of downtown or central Porto and uh, anyway I'm gonna leave the video here hang out with you guys another time and uh, introduce you to lots more things here saying goodbye from Porto Portugal <laughs> and <laughs> um, hopefully sometime I'll, I'll, I'll come on speaking a little bit of Portuguese take care and see you next time bye bye